center will be talking a lot about agriculture, but of course, agriculture exists in this larger environment, and you happen to chair also the Senate Committee on and Environment. There are a number of things are happening on that front, of course, climate change, yeah. but there are specific things you have been focusing on. Um, the mangrove forest along the coastal highway, mm -hmm. which uh, from time to time has been threatened by reclamation, reclamation projects mm -hmm. and uh, the wetlands in, in Paranaque, which have, you've also yeah. been... Paranaque maybe, and Las Piñas. Maybe let's talk about the, the mangroves first. Well, yes. what, why is that important to not only Las Piñas, but really to to, to Metro Manila and the rest of the country. You know, during the time of Yolanda, I visited Samar and Leyte because as uh, chairman of the Agriculture and Food, and uh, I, I went with the DA, uh, okay naman sila, we Apo. visited all the hard-hit towns in Samar and Leyte during Yolanda to distribute uh, uh, seedlings, uh, animal, uh, different fertilizer, everything that can help them. And uh, I noticed, and it has been proven, that all those uh, LGUs who have uh, mangrove in the coast were not affected by Yolanda. Mm -hmm. Ang tinamaan talaga yung, yung walang, walang mangrove. Yeah. Talagang pumasok yung typhoon surge. Yeah. And when bumalik yung typhoon surge, kasama lahat ang bahay wow. at pati tao. Right. So, so that uh, stayed in my mind. That's why uh, in 1992, when uh, Senator Villar then was congressman, he told me to help the DNR plant those mangroves because pag nabuhay yan, it cannot be removed anymore. Mm -hmm. It's illegal under okay. the laws of the Philippines. Oh, That's illegal. Okay. So we really encourage them. So today we have 35 hectares of mangrove forest in our Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park. And what is good about the mangrove? They are the spawning ground of fishes. Right. So in addition that they protect the, the LGUs and the pool, yeah. from uh, typhoon surge and other calamity, at uh, pa nanggagaling yung mga fishes na hinuhuli sa Manila Bay. Right. We are the biggest spawning ground of fishes in Manila Bay. Right. Has there been a resolution because you were questioning that reclamation project, but no, and this uh, is not the first time you've been yeah, you've been yeah. actually I've been fighting, fighting it, it for and then the last twenty once it, years. <laughs> once it simmers down, para mawawala tas babalik ulit. No, right? because different ano proponent. Oh, oh okay. the first one transferred to Bulacan, di ba? Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. so that solved it. Oh. Okay. But there are next ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be a constant struggle, I think. But uh, my, my ano to the department, I mean, we, we cannot stop the proponent, but they are the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. They should be the one to stop it right. because it's really bad for the environment. Like, right. for example, in Las Piñas, Paranaque, and Bacor, we have four rivers going out to Manila Bay. Yeah. And uh, where will the water go if right. they close that portion of Manila Bay? We are a cove. Yeah. Hindi tayo yung papunta sa dagat eh. Naka U-shaped tayong ganun eh. Right. So if they close it, where will we, the water go? And uh, Secretary Singson then told me not to agree because we will have six to eight meters of flooding. Because he wow. has bad experience with Bacoor and Imus. Ooh. He had to build a 45 hectare water impounding facility there. Financed by JICA, not even oh, the, the money of yeah. the Philippines. It wow. was uh, from uh, Japan. It okay. was borrowed from Japan. And lately, I talked to Senator Strike. He said it did not solve the problem. There is also May still flooding, uh, flooding. So I don't want that to happen to Las Piñas. Right. <laughs> and I am telling Paranaque because if you cannot stop flooding in your area, you will go to Las Piñas also because our river are interconnected. Right. As well as Bacoor. Right. They interconnect with us also in the rivers. Right. So that's why I, I, I was able to declare the Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park as a legislated protected area. Right. They cannot touch the park, but they can uh, reclaim our buffer zone. That's oh. what I'm fighting for now, okay. that the ba buffer zone will be honored. Okay. Uh, so you, I, uh, you mentioned uh, fishing; uh, it's important there, but also um, tourism. It's been a 
an attractive area for bird watchers because yeah. migratory birds yeah. have been going there. Yeah, we'll, we are declaring it as an ecotourism area. Right. We have, a, a, we have built a wetland center there. We have a museum. We have a lecture room. We have okay. a coffee shop. We have there the office of the DNR and the office of uh, BIFAR, mm -hmm. the fisheries, mm -hmm. because they are interconnected. And then we have... A, a, a big area there where people can gather, visitor center. Yeah. So we have built that. I, I was thinking, I, you know, with what you've done in Las Piñas, you know, shouldn't this be done across the country? Because I hear, as you said, it's, it's good for uh, typhoon protection. Mm -hmm. But I hear it's also a good way to really sequester carbon from the environment, yes, more so yes. than the regular trees. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud to say that during my term as uh, as uh, chairman of the Senate Committee of Environment and Natural Resources, I have passed 101 bill, uh, law declaring wow, uh, four and a half million hectares as legislated protected area. When I came to the position, there are only 13. Now wow. it's 114. Right. So during my time, I passed uh, 101 legislation declaring and it it, it 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 starts as a local bill of the congressman right. and then they go to the senate right. so that we you know we're bicameral right. but i'm very glad because there are that means there are 114 congressmen who right. sponsored right. a portion of their district to be declared as a protected area and now we have four and a half million hectares declared as legislated protected area. Is there a job generation component to this from your experience in Las Piñas because it not only protects I, I suppose the, the poor and the vulnerable yes. in the coastal areas but someone has to plant them. No, like someone fishing. Should, oh yeah, fishing. Okay. Yeah. So without our spawning ground there will be less okay, fish okay, yeah. in manila bay or they have to go out yeah farther and uh, we are yeah. also attracting tourists yeah. oh, there is another there and uh, education the children we educate the children i think uh, the metro pacific group will build a mangrove center wow. to teach about mangrove wow. oh, they, uh, we have agreed that they will build so that's for the mangrove protection. So people will be conscious that right. it is important to take care of the mangroves. Mm -hmm. And then I think uh, the German government will build a marine laboratory for right. students. Right. Oh, so they can visit there and watch the marine laboratory. So right. uh, we are encouraging people to donate to our wetland park so that it will have more facilities for the education of our children. Kasi right. alam mo, uh, dapat bata pa lang, we educate our children or develop in our children the love for the environment. Kasi uh, we have no future with the uh, 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 deteriorating environment. <laughs> mm. so, because even agriculture is dependent on, on the, the environment. environment. In right. fact, they have created an office in agriculture for climate change mitigation. And uh, they have pinpoint... Uh, I think five regions always. Uh, kasi ang biggest lang effect sa atin ng climate change is typhoon and flooding. Mm -hmm. 90%. Wow. So we have to mitigate that. Right. So we are now uh, developing uh, uh, programs by which we can mitigate uh, uh, the effect of typhoon and flooding. And one of them is uh, 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 the greening program. Mm -hmm. Yung dapat mga trees kasi nakakabawas ng strength ng typhoon yan eh. Yung right. mga mangrove. Yung right. mangrove hindi nakakaya ng typhoon yan eh. Yeah. Oh, tinan mo sa late hindi na damage yung may mangrove on the coast. Yeah. Oh. And then of course, uh, uh, sabi nila, i-develop daw ang root crops. Kasi okay. pag nag-typhoon, nasa ilalim ng lupa, ah, hindi okay. nasisira. And for the rice farmer naman, we have to give out dryer and generator. Kasi okay. pag daw may merong ano ng typhoon, may warning, they can harvest. Right. But nababasa. Right. So they have to dry asap. And so they have to have dryers. Mm -hmm. But sometimes wala namang kuryente. So how will the dryer function? So right. you have to give them generators also. So even without the kuryente, di ba na the damage ng Opo. typhoon ng kuryente, yeah. they can use uh, their generator. And things like that. Yung, and then maybe uh, teach them to build small water impounding facilities mm -hmm. para maipon nila yung tubig and then 
use them during drought or du du during the dry season para wala tayong problem about uh, irrigation. Mm -hmm. But it must be frustrating, Senator. Parang you, you fight back uh, against all of these projects. You focus on some other things, but you turn your head and na naman sila, as you said, different proponent. I think uh, you really have to... It will take time. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm used to that. I okay. have been in government for so long. Okay. It will take time. And I guess I will just have to do my best okay. during my term and pray that uh, uh, what I left them, they will continue. Yeah. Before we go on break, Senator, you were talking earlier about the Palanyake wetland. Is this different from the mangrove area? I mean, can the you talk? Same. Same. The same. Okay. The same. Okay. It's 182 hectares. Wow. And 35 hectares are mangrove ah, because it's forest. Because it covers Las Piñas and Palanyake. Okay. Yeah. There are two islands, the Freedom Island yeah. and the, ano, the... I forgot the other yeah. island. Yeah. Two islands. Eh. Yeah. One is in Paranaque and one is in Las Piñas. Right. Well, so hopefully uh, you're yeah. successful. Maybe in... next time we have this interview, we go there. Opa. So you will can appreciate it better. Opa. Oh, and it's an ecotourism area. Uh, we'll be right back with Senator Cynthia Villar. This is Business and Politics on SMNI.